the other night Zion Williamson yeah. was wearing I did shirt. tell me what that you talked awesome. to him or are you friends I mean obviously I know you welcomed him yeah. out there yeah you know <laughs> like that was somebody sent me that picture it was actually um our social media guy uh -huh. with the Saints Alex Restrepo he sent me the picture and first off I was like where did he get that shirt <laughs> I, I, I've never seen that one before right did he have it made right but like like, I was like, yeah, like a, like an ode to the, you know, to the, to the veteran guy here, you know, um, you know, we've had some great interactions. Um, I remember, I remember when he was drafted. That was my last, last year of the Saints. I remember when he was drafted. Um, you gave him a jersey, I remember. Gave him a jersey. Yep. Um, invited him to one of our quarterback challenges during training camp, which uh, ended up being a shooting competition, right? We had a good time with that. Um, and... I, I mean, I think I left, I left all of those interactions just like, man, if I can ever do anything for you, like I'm always here to support you. I know he's had his ups and downs, battled through injuries and that kind of thing. But um, you know, it's interesting with, I, I think with basketball especially is, um, Zion was drafted, he was 19 years old, right? And, and, and so you think about just that journey for a guy, um, and I think this is his fourth year, right? Um, but, you know, there's just, there's this process that has, has to take place, right? And this maturation process, and you're still, I mean, look, you're, you're still learning so much about yourself, um, not just as a player, but just as, you know, the things that are important to you and, um, you know, the dynamic of being an athlete with a ton of expectations on you, right? And then, you know, all of a sudden being in a position where, you know, you're going to be, you're, you're going to have a, you're going to have a, a, a family, you know, you're going to, right. right? Um, you're going to. And meanwhile, other yeah. people's fortunes rise and fall based on you. Exactly. Right. So it's, um, I think that's one of those things where honestly, that's where I think the mentorship within a locker room um, is the most important. Um, forget about the, 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 the technical aspect of it, right? As a basketball player, I think your success on the court or on the field or whatever it is, is more predicated on your ability to become a pro. And what I mean by that is like you, you, you understand the balance of life, right? You understand the things that are really most important in life and it's family and it's community. And then this is what I do, right? This basketball thing, it's, it's what I do. It's not who I am, right? But I also recognize the responsibility that I have as a leader on the team and what this represents for our city and how, especially in New Orleans, how this lifts everyone's spirits and how everybody just, you know, you ride on the emotions of, right? Uh -huh. you, everybody wakes up on Monday morning, you know, after a Saints win with a little bigger pep in their step. We sell more papers. That's what I, right? Yes. So there you go, right? Uh -huh. The data, the data backs it up. Yes. So look, it, it's it's just the truth, and I think that just that 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 takes a little time to recognize. Mm -hmm. But I think once it clicks, yeah. all of a sudden there's a level of maturity mm -hmm. that I think comes out, and I think you know I think we're gonna start, we're gonna see that we're gonna start to see. That.